Zoos are known for being home to animals that come from all over the world. But many animals at the Roosevelt Park Zoo, for example, are from warm climates. And with winter just beginning, Lauren Davis shows us how accommodations are being made for animals that aren't acclimated to the cold. Roosevelt Park Zoo is home to many animals. Some of them love the cold and some don't. So what happens to those animals that thrive in warm weather during the winter? All of the animals stay at the zoo year round. If they're warm weather like Achille, they will stay in their barns that have temperature controls. So we have heaters and we have exhaust to make sure everything stays nice and clean and then um, the correct humidity as well. Achille is a 22-year-old Okapi. He and his ancestors are native to the Republic of Congo. It's warm and humid there, so once temperatures begin to drop in North Dakota, Achille goes inside for the season. When it's above that 45 degrees feels like, he can be outside. So, and as long as there's no snow or anything, he can be outside as well. Achille is the only okapi at the zoo, but that's nothing new since okapis are solitary in the wild. In order to keep him engaged, zookeepers have different enrichment activities for him. We have some different things hung up in his barn right now. One of them over there is called the orbiter, and that would be uh, an object that we can put either perfume or, like, say, like peanut butter or even just nothing on it, just put it up. It's something new for them to look at. Like I said, he uses his tongue to engage with his um, environment, so he will just stand there and, like, look at it and watch it move around. Rafferty says it's important for zookeepers to interact with the animals, especially when they're inside, so they can stay engaged even when there aren't zoo visitors around. It really makes it's special when you can have this connection with an animal um, just like this and they appreciate you and you appreciate them and you can know that you can trust each other okay that's enough <laughs> zoo visitors can still see the okapi in the colder months there is a viewing window outside of his barn for kx news in minot i'm lauren davis Looks like that Okapi is very friendly, and the <laughs> Roosevelt Park Zoo also supports oh. the Okapi Conservation Project, which helps protect Okapis in their habitats in the Republic of Congo. And people can also bring their old electronics to recycle at the zoo so that their habitats aren't destroyed due to the man for Colton. I hope they have to watch that microphone. That's I was going to say, you might get a kiss if you go visit. Who knows? <laughs>